Hey there guys, it's Rick Uter here with Ergen Web and Ergen Web TV, and today we're gonna to take another look at the Brocock Bantam Sniper. All right, before we get started, I wanna say thank you to Daystate and Brocock for letting me do the deep dive into this entire product line. We've looked at this rifle quite a bit already. We've looked at the high power and now we're back to this because this is a hunting video and I've really been looking forward to it. So I wanna say thank you again to the guys over at Daystate and Brocock. Now, before I went out and just grabbed this and hit the field, I wanted to make sure that I was zeroed. And I have swapped the scope. The other gun we were running had a first focal plane. So that meant Whatever my magnification was, the mill dots went with me and they were the same regardless of whatever magnification power was on. This is a second focal plane scope. So if I'm at four power, my mill dot spacing is one thing. If I go to 10 power, it's actually different. So that's a big deal when you're out hunting because I'm not always shooting at a guaranteed 50 yards. I may be shooting at 50 yards one shot, 25 yards another, maybe 100 yards another. And if I change my magnification, well then, it could be all over the map. So the very first thing I do is I just decide what I'm gonna be running for that trip. Now, where we are here, we're at our ranch and we're really probably gonna be taking between 50 and 75 yard shots. For me, I just put the scope on 10 power and that's pretty much it. Now I can sight my scope. I can go ahead and take some long shots, some close shots, make note of where I'm falling on the mill dots. And then I know when I go out into the field, I'm gonna be able to mimic those results. So that's super important. Before you go out and start taking your shots, make sure you know your equipment and that you're gonna hit the target. Now, let's see if we can go find some jackrabbits. Okay, so we were driving. My wife, who's running the camera today, noticed a jackrabbit just sitting real still. And it's not that far away. We're probably talking 25 yards. Now, for me, these are the shots that always give me the worst grief because I have to shoot under and I just struggle with that but I think we're gonna get this one just fine let's see if I can line him up here oh sweet that's what we're talking about awesome all right that's exactly what we were hoping for lined up it just sat perfectly still which doesn't always happen that was great got out set up the shot and there you go, one shot, perfect. That's exactly what I was hoping for. Granted, that was really pretty close, so not a terribly difficult shot, but for me, man, those close shots have always given me trouble. So when I can get one that clean, I'm pretty happy about it. I love this rifle for this kind of work. It's lightweight, has plenty of power. It is variable too, so you know, if I'm going for something a little bit bigger, I can turn it up a little bit smaller, turn it down, just gotta make sure what that's gonna do to you know, my point of impact. That's about knowing your equipment again. But this thing is just awesome. Again, I just love the fact that it fits so nicely into the shoulder. It holds well. Just a really fun gun to get out here and do some shooting with. Let's see if we can go get another one. Okay, so we spotted another jack. We got out of the vehicle and kind of got off the road and it bolted a little bit, so it's sitting up and it's probably about 40 yards out, which is perfect. See, I've got this dialed in for between 40 and 50 yards, so I got no holdover I gotta be concerned with. Just put the crosshairs on it and pull the trigger. Let's see if this one's gonna get it done for us. Oh, yeah. That is what we wanna see, perfect shot. All right, so we found our second jackrabbit. I think we're gonna call it quits. What I like to do is jackrabbits I have found are great bait for coyotes and we're really trying to, one, we've got coyotes coming right through the middle of the ranch. So we're trying to get those off a little bit. So I'm baiting them a little bit further out and I'll be able to take them pretty easily, but they love jackrabbits. So I wanted to get a couple today, kind of set my bait pile for the uh, coyotes for a nice hunt. And I've got my second jackrabbit, and the Brocock Bantam Sniper really did a great job. The more I'm out hunting with this, the more I really like the fact that it's so light, it's so maneuverable, easy to shoot, and obviously, really the important thing, it's very accurate and it has plenty of power to get the job done. Did a great job today. 
I really like this. Guys, if you want to know more about this gun, this whole package really, you can find out at www.airgunproshop.com. And again, I want to say thank you to the guys over at Day State Brokock for letting me get all this time with it.